Hello, my friends. I know it's been a long time since I posted on my weight loss channel. I'm deciding to come back to this journey. Um, I think the last time I posted a video, uh, wow, it was probably two years ago. Or it was going on two years. And so much has happened during that time within my life to where I really didn't have enough time to... Um, like do videos and all that type of stuff. I'll get into that sometime um, throughout <clears throat> me starting my journey all over again, um, my weight loss channel. Um, so, hi, my friends. <laughs> I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Um, I'm back to doing um, weekly updates. Um, I plan on... Um, trying to be consistent with that even if i just do a really really short video but i appreciate you up until it's still subscribed to my channel even though i have not been on here in a while so some things that new um obviously i cut my locks from before um they was just growing so they were growing a lot but i wanted bigger locks and i don't know um and then I went through, um, I got really sick at one time and the medication I was on um, made my hair thin out so bad. It messed up my teeth too. So um, I'm in the process of getting my mouth done. Um, I am currently not working right now. I just, um, I'm still on um, FLMA for another issue and I'll get into that later. Um, I don't think my weight loss had too much to do with it, but it could have. Um, so, let's start with the stats. I had gastric bypass surgery on December the 15th of 2015. My start weight was 262 pounds. My goal weight was 145, which I met really quickly. And my lowest weight is was 133 pounds, which was pretty small. And I didn't really, to me, when I looked at my body, I didn't realize how small and sickly I looked. But the weight came off so fast, people thought I was on drugs. But I wasn't. Um, so, uh, I have a lot of appointments coming up. I have an appointment with the gastrologist. I've been having a lot of problems with my stomach since having, um, gastric bypass surgery. Um, so that's that. Um, my current weight right now is 167 pounds. So I did gain weight back. Um, my highest weight that I gained back, I think I was one, 173 or 175. Now I'm 167. Um, I, I'm okay with 167, but I would really like to go back down to 150. Um, I am going to be making an appointment with the support group um, with Montevideo Hospital. And I have my surgery with Dr. V. Um, I don't think they're any longer there. Um, I've been suffering a lot with uh, anemic, anemia. Um, I've had a lot of blood transfusions since then. Um, just mostly stomach problems. But um, I'm going to come back at a later time. I just got up. Um, when I got myself together and I can sit down. Um, I don't have my beauty station anymore. I had a fire in my building July the 33rd and everything got ruined. So they came in and gutted the whole apartment out. So it's basically looked like a brand new apartment now. Um, there's a lot of things that I have to clean and throw out and it was so horrible and it was so horrible that the renting office where I work well, I mean where I live at was so uncooperative very uncooperative very disrespectful um I got a lot of things that were damaged financially that I can't get back they broke my big 75 inch screen tv it's just a lot went on but 
at the end of the day, I still have my life. So I'm very, very grateful because it was a really, really bad fire. Um, so um, back into my apartment. Well, I never left the apartment. Um, the landlord wouldn't move me for some reason, but it is what it is. Um, so I just want to show you guys a body shot. Um, I'm back to waist training again. So, um, yeah. So let me turn the camera around. My daughter bought me like this little thing to where I could put my phone up. My twin sister actually bought me the brand new iPhone, which I'm so grateful for. Um, cause I could have been able to afford it. So I'm going to step back. I'm sorry. I don't have a bra on. I just got up. I don't sleep in a bra. But I do sleep in my waist trainer now. So I'm going to go back to waist training. I was doing it before and it really worked so good. So as long as you're consistent with the weight, with the waist trainer, it helps your stomach so freaking much. And I've lost weight again. Um, so my arms are really the problem here. See how my arms are? Like all of that's loose skin. Um, so I'm, I've got some um, weight bands. And I have a bike over here. Which I've had about three years, three, four years. And I think I only rode it twice. So I was going to give it to my daughter. My daughter was like, oh no, I don't have a place to put it at now. So my daughter doesn't live with me anymore. She has her own apartment. She's actually a radiologist now. Um, so that's good news. My oldest son graduated with his bachelor's my twin sister graduated with her bachelor's both of them are going back for their masters i'm really proud of them i have i, I started and and like i would start school and then end school um how can i say this without giving out too much information but i needed to i needed the mental break you know so i'll go into my diagnosis probably in the future on this channel um, of what I've been diagnosed with. So, and it does affect my weight. It really does. My mental uh, affects my weight. So let me do a really quick um, body shot. So I showed you my arms. Um, I don't I don't like, the only thing I don't like about the weight loss is that everything just sags so bad. So I want to get like um, my butt like done and not done not done surgically but like start lifting um weight so this is what i look like i'm 167 pounds now and i went i was gonna start wearing my waist trainer all day i even wear it to bed i'm i started out at as with the large so now i'm down to a medium um it's on the last hook now so I'm going to show all of my, my waistbands that I use. And believe me, believe me, believe me, they work if you stay consistent. So I'm going to try to stay consistent with it. But this is how I look. I do have um, sagging skin here. Like it's sagged here. So, and my stomach still sags. So... That's why I want to start with the waist trainer. And this is what I look from the side and the back. Um, a lot of my um, things got ruined, so I don't have a lot of stuff, like a lot of my weight stuff. But I did find this muffin. Excuse the apartment because I just, we just um, got back like things together in the apartment. So I have stuff everywhere. So please don't judge what my apartment looks like. Please don't. Um, I just moved back in and I'm still getting things all together. Even my youngest daughter is not here now. She's with her father while we were, they were getting the apartment together. So it's just been me and my son for about three months. But I bought these bands here. And I'm going to take uh, 15 minutes a day to start, you know, um, using the bands with my waist trainer. 
um, I'm going to look up videos on YouTube to see like what exercises I can do. So I have this. Um, I'm still on um, a lot of medication. I've had a couple of blood transfusions. Um, I'm really low on my vitamins and stuff. That comes with um, the gastric bypass surgery. So this is what I look like muffins. I appreciate y'all if you watch my videos. Um, that that chick is back. And I just wanted to give you a round of a circle of what I look like now. And hopefully in a couple of months when I, you know, finish, um, you know, starting my exercise and stuff, I'm actually going to be cutting out a lot of stuff um, that I'm eating. I'm going to start meal prepping when I go back to work. So that's something I want to show you muffins. I eat totally different now. I'm up in my protein. I'm changing a lot of stuff. I gained weight because, you know, being at the job, I was snacking all of the time. I have a gift shop downstairs and I love um like blue candies and stuff then i had started drinking soda again and juice and all that stuff i was on the borderline of diet to be diabetic so my doctor warned me um about the sugar and stuff so i cut that out i went to the doctor like a week or two ago and everything's okay as far as my blood levels and stuff um they're pretty still low but it's not as bad as it was before all right, Muffin, so this is what my body looks like. I hope that you would come back um, questions, any questions you have. I know I've met tons of people at my job that have had uh, gastric bypass surgery, which I, I tell them about my page because my YouTube account, because I, um, from the very first day of the decision, to have gastric bypass until the current day I documented everything and it has so much information in it so much of my journey um if you don't know I was in a relationship for 13 years Desi passed away I don't know if y'all remember Desi my partner of 13 years passed away um and that took a big mental toll on me and then after that my mother passed away and my father passed away like almost right behind each other so um, stress, yes. <laughs> but this is what I look like, muffins. Alright, bye. Oh, and to, um, my birthday is October the 8th. I am 40, I will be 48 years old. Is it today? Is today the 8th? I'm not quite sure. But, um, so I'm, I hit 49 years old now. I'm 48 now. I'm 49. Um, it's October the 8th. I was born in 1975. So I think I look good for a 49-year-old. I mean, I can um, definitely lift a little bit weights and stuff like that. But anybody wants to send me a cash app, it's uh, dollar sign that that chick. Just for my birthday. Thank you. Bye.